Moving on to another subject. Uh, Mr. Pappas, starting with you, the pervasiveness of smartphones and video recordings of interactions between police and citizens has kept a lot of scrutiny on policing tactics, specifically, especially in minority communities. So I'm wondering, is there a role, do you think, for Congress that they can play here to provide resources to local police departments, whether it's training or what have you? Do you think there's a role there? There is a role, and the federal government plays it now, and the resources that they provide um, for law enforcement are absolutely critical at making sure that our New Hampshire law enforcement has uh, the resources they need to be able to do their jobs. Uh, we have a great model in New Hampshire. Uh, I support our law enforcement here, and to the extent that I can advocate for federal grants um, that can be invested in New Hampshire, I'll do that. And Mr. Edwards, you have said the federal government should absolutely not, in quotes, be involved in reforming local police departments. So who do you think should hold police departments accountable then, if not the federal government? They're local citizens. Uh, who holds them accountable right now. The New Hampshire uh, Police Standards and Training Council holds our police officers accountable in this state. And every single day, police officers are held accountable. Uh, you may not see that as citizens, I can, but I can tell you, as someone who's led in law enforcement, someone who's trained other law enforcement uh, officers in this state, police officers are very proud people, and they do a tremendous job. And, but they are held accountable when they do things wrong. The fundamental issue that we have in law enforcement is a lack of resources for training. Uh, these, these, these are uh, men and women from your community who want to do a good job, and they are held accountable. So this notion that they're not held accountable is not factually true. Now, there may be some instances where you see that, well, what, what happened that, in that situation? Um, but by and large, police officers are held accountable every single day. And I think we need resources to make sure they're properly trained consistently. That's, that's much more of the issue. Next question coming from Kevin Landrigan.